Previously, we talked about the hooks and how to use the hooks with Superbase and NextJS. Now let's talk a little bit about real time inside a NextJS 14 application. Previously, we created this page home and we used this hook, use article, to fetch our article, to set them and to return them to our view in order to loop and to show those articles title. And when we come back to it, this is the result. That's good. However, with Superbase, we can use what we call real time. With real time, we subscribe actually to events. And when there's a new article, uh, we actually can fetch it. So I'm going to come back to Superbase. And I'm going to come back to my table, which is article right now. And on this table article, I got only one row level security policy. I'm going to zoom a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to come back. There we go. And we can see up here that real time is off. So what we're going to do, we are going to insert here a new article directly inside the database. And we are going to subscribe on the front end. And we are going to check at two specification. Um, and the main question actually is, do we subscribe from the view or do we subscribe from the hook? There is here a trap. And this is what we are going to see now. Okay, I'm going to turn real time on. And here I'm able to subscribe to my database. So the first thing I'm going to try here is to subscribe directly to um, uh, my database. Okay, to subscribe to a database, we need to use our client. And first, I'm going to write my client in here. So it's going to be super base directly like this inside my application. I'm going to um, type here channel and I'm going to give a name. And here it's going to be articles follow up. Let's say it's going to be this. And I'm going to listen here uh, by typing on and I'm going to type Postgres changes. There we go. I'm going to pass here an object and this object will be what? It will be actually composed by three elements. The first element is going to be an event. So here the event is going to be all. I would like to have a, a, a notification every time there's going to be an event. Then here I'm going to have a, the schema and here the schema it's the public schema because here my table is under the public schema up here. Okay. Then the last thing, of course, is to specify the table. So here it's going to be the table articles. So I want to listen to the table articles. The third element here, it's going to be the payload. So here I'm going to type any and I want to console log the payload. So when there will be a change, I'm supposed to receive here a payload, an event. And at the end, the last step is to use subscribe, of course. So I didn't put it into the use effect. I would like to see if it works like this. So I'm going to get back. I'm going to open my console and we are supposed to have a, a response. So I'm going to get back here and I'm going to insert a new row. And it's going to be here as a title. I'm going to put, for instance, here new article. I'm going to click on save. There we go. Here we've got a response with an event type insert. And we even have the new article and we've got the old article. So if we subscribe here directly, not inside the use effect, but outside the use effect to a channel, it will work. So now when we got our new payload, we can insert it inside our articles. Okay, now let's come back to get articles. And here, let's say that we would have a function called subscribe to articles. Would it work? Now we are back inside our hook and we've got now a function called subscribe to articles with everything in here. So if I return this subscribe to article and I come back to my page and instead of having this here and I type subscribe to article, will it work? If I come back here, I got my list. I'm going to create the new article again, new article two. I'm going to save. I'm going to get back in here and it's also working and it's pretty cool. Until now, 
there is no difference. And I can even try to put subscribe to article inside my use effect to see if it works. And I'm going to get back and I'm going to add a new article and it works exactly the same. However, here we've got probably a problem because what we are supposed to do every time we create a subscriber like this, it's to unsubscribe to the channel. And this is really important. You have always to unsubscribe from the channel because you are creating a socket. And here you would like to actually disable this socket if you are not using it. However, here in Next.js and in most of JavaScript framework, the problem is that most of the time, even if you unmount a component or not, you still have the socket and it's totally useless to keep those sockets, especially to use some resources that will not be really used inside your application. So what I recommend you to do is to always have a function here, subscribe to articles, for instance, or to have a function unsubscribe from articles that would actually unsubscribe your, um, um, here, your instance. So let's try now to create our function. And we're going to have remove all channels if you want to remove all the channels and we don't need any argument for this one. However, for remove channel, we need to pass an argument. And I wish we could pass here the articles follow up. However, we don't accept a string at this level. Actually, here we are supposed to pass the instance that is coming up here. But the problem is that here I didn't set up my subscribe into a variable. So basically what I would like to do and what I should do here is to have here const subscribe channel. Okay. Here my super base here instance. And after that, when I would click here on my unsubscribe function, I would need to get it actually not inside my hook, but down here, unsubscribe channel, and I would pass here my subscribe channel. So let's gonna test that. Let's say that we're gonna have some kind of button, which will be called unsubscribe, and I'm going to call it on click. We are back. I'm going to add a fourth article. I'm going to go here and put new article four. I'm going to save it. And if I come back, I get the notification. Now I'm going to click to unsubscribe. I'm going to add a fourth article. I'm going to go here and put new article four. I'm going to save it. We don't get any notification for the fifth article. So it worked. In my opinion, it's way better to subscribe directly on the page because here you get all the view on what is going on here, all the operation that you want to do, and also to have everything set up to subscribe and unsubscribe directly from the view. So you see that at this point, the hooks have their limits to store either the business logic, either the functional logic, especially with real time. So what I would do is to remove everything that is concerning the subscribe and put it directly to my view to gain efficiency and also to be sure that when I mount on mount, I unsubscribe from my articles. I could even do it on unmount. But doing this, I gain more clarity and more readability inside my code and on what I'm doing with my subscribe channels. With real time, we got to be careful, especially with the life cycles of Next.js 14. What I recommend you is to always doing it on the view to gain more clarity, but also to avoid side effects depending on the hooks.